What is up, everybody? This is Recap Rewind. I'm Jay Lag, and I'm here with NB. And this episode is recapping and reviewing American Horror Story Cult Season 7, Season Finale, guys, Episode 11. And it is called Great Again. And just remember, guys, we're going to be recapping the episode right now. But at the end, we're going to go through our uh, recap roundups. So our MVP, our LVP, our best moments. We'll be covering off those at the end of the episode. So stay tuned for that. And as always, to all our continuing listeners and our brand new ones, thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy the podcast. So yeah, what do you think? Final episode. It was episode. really good. It was really, really good. Like I was finished. struggling with like how they're going to end it off like in the terms of like what's the last frame that right. you see right just because i'm like i know she's gonna come out on top but it's like yeah. how are they gonna end off and like leave a message for like the rest of us and like I think, I think they did an amazing job i think that's the one most exciting thing about american horror story is every season is like is is like a series finale right because yeah well because you're ending a story the story the is story. over so it's almost like every single season we get to watch a series finale of a show and you asked those questions exactly what you said like how what's the last shot going to be how are you going to see it ending how are they going to like leave us off with this this storyline so yeah um right off the top were you uh pleased with the final for shot, sure for final sure ending? yeah yeah uh like i have a questions that i can ask you at the end about that last frame uh -huh. with her in that in the robe sure but uh no i think like the way it all unfolded right it was perfect. So I'll try to like speed right through yeah, it so we can just kind of yeah. get through it. Um, so it starts off 11 months after. So it says like prison 2018 and it shows Kai and essentially it shows him as this new cult leader inside the jail. The jail. Yeah. Um, so he gets these two. Uh, well, first it starts off with him doing like pinky power with the guard mm -hmm. who is a black woman and i have mm -hmm. to say it like right off the top because it really shocked me um not realizing what was happening at the end like i didn't i was very disappointed in how everything was kind of playing out in the beginning yeah because they chose and like uh, obviously as you watch the the episode but like, that's you also realize, one of the reasons why i didn't fully believe it do you okay. know what i mean her okay. character right right, right because right, right. she was so on one side i was like yeah girl come yeah. on no you're not believing yeah. this shit right now yeah um i should have booked that in the beginning too because i was like they're not gonna let her be like this yeah and character. like imagine ending off yeah. this whole season with all this talk with yeah. that woman basically like doing you know i yeah. just couldn't i just yeah. couldn't like uh true but i didn't know how the but deep yeah. they went like, yeah they, they for went sure they she still went like far um so yeah they do pinky power and it shows that he has like this control over everybody in the jail and these two guys these two white supremacists come through and they're like you're screwing up like our our situation usually we're all segregated and like you're like messing it messing up with your cults so one of them goes to beat him up and then the other one kills the other guy to show his allegiance to the divine ruler and uh it just shows that you know kai Artie is able to like weave through the system um, on the inside, and then it cuts back to, um, oh, and then it like it that shot finishes, and then it shows his actual crew, and his crew is multicultural. Like yeah, it's like everyone in the jail, it's every yeah, type yeah. of person. It's like the Mexicans yeah. are mixed with the black people and the white people. So yeah, I get it. Like that's not something that you normally see because they're following him. They're not right. following like a race, right? You know. Um, and then it cuts to, and then like some guy gets recruited. Were you so I guess scared at all at this point? Because this part scared me. I was, I was like, oh my god, yeah, he's like, yeah. he has troops, like he literally has an army concerned. right now. I was because I'm like, this is. Are they gonna like overthrow like the yeah. prison? Like, what's gonna happen? I was really frustrated in the beginning of the episode because I was like, I hope this is not gonna be like this breakout situation where he's gonna come back and like come for people, like with everyone. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. I just didn't want to have to deal with that again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I was yeah. like, this is not gonna, and I can see it happening, you know. Um, and uh, then it cuts to oh, it shows a guy who's kind of getting recruited or he's like he comes to kai for help and he's important because he he ends up becoming a character in the, in the very end but he kind of kind of looks, looks like, kai, like kai and uh he needs protection yeah. so they like pull him in he's like sure then it cuts to 11 months ago and it's the night before the night and of i love how they did that because like the, that guy was like how did you ever end up in here yeah like you're such a smart man like how did you end up here and then it's like cut to yeah oh he says like i had i had yeah. someone on the inside yeah like there was a betrayer how like everyone falls like everyone falls apart right um 
and it it shows Ali, and she's essentially like lurking while he's planning this mass murder with a bunch of uh, these guys, like his crew. Yeah. Um, and instead of killing a thousand people, a thousand pregnant ladies, he's gonna. So kill it's a 100. thousand, a thousand taints. Yes. I think last week I was like taints because we were like, <laughs> wait, what is he seeing? But Tate's is that woman that died last right in the Manson thing. Right. Yeah. Didn't realize that. Yeah. Uh, got, so I love how we he's got like schooled by like one of our. Yeah. Li- I'm like, oh, I don't know. I love how he's like. So we can't kill a thousand, but we can kill a hundred. Right. And we <laughs> he's found like, them we from don't like have Lamaze no, classes. Yeah. Like, so messed up. It was messed Even up. Hearing him talk hearing about it, it, I was, was really messed sick. up. Like, I was feeling yeah. very like uneasy about the whole situation, and then it shows. And I'm like, and I'm, I'm honestly putting so much stock into Ali at this point. I'm like, yeah. bro, you better come through right now. Like this shit better not go off. Like you need to come through. Like when is your plan happening? Like this can't happen in the middle of the night. Like gross. Yeah, so um, he's showing everybody how to kill a pregnant lady, like slashing through, and like they have watermelons. Yeah, it's he's very like, you graphic. have to go down, like you can't yeah, go straight in. Yeah. Like, oh, it, was, like, it, it wasn't was too much. And then it cuts to <laughs> Bev making a salad. I died. <laughs> making a watermelon salad. She's in like, the I love making this watermelon basil salad with feta cheese. <laughs> She's like, I would never do anything else. Bev is and then Ali's like, girl, yeah. check yourself right now. <laughs> She's like, kill me. Yeah. Kill me now. <laughs> yeah. Here's a knife. <laughs> and Ali's like, bro, just wait one more night. I'm telling you. Like, like it sucks that she true. couldn't tell her. She couldn't tell her. She couldn't say, like, I'm was, like taking everything yeah. down. But like, yeah. obviously, I wouldn't trust Bev either. Like, she's crazy. <laughs> she's glitching the fuck so out. So she's just like, wait one more night and yeah. like, trust me. Like, you'll be good. She's like, yeah. okay. And she like, says, comes yeah, in. she says to her, like, you know, we all did we had what we had to do yeah. at that moment. And, you know, like, it's hard to find your faith. And the way she's saying it, it's almost like believe in the cult. But like, she's obviously saying, of like, course. believe in yeah, yourself, yeah. girl. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, Kai comes through and he's like freaking out because he's like, where's Speedwagon? He's freaking yeah. like, He doesn't know where he is. And she's like, let me make you a man witch. And he's like, fuck the man witch. He's like, fuck this. Oh. And uh, he's like, she's like, I need to show you something. So she shows him. And I think because he, he started saying, he's like, I'm not going to do this th- that now. Like the event of like killing all the women. He's like, I can't do this he's now. Like, we have to cancel it's too this. sketchy. Yeah. Like there's someone like lurking on us. He's like, yeah. I can't, I can't. So as soon as he said that, she was like, okay, I need to tell the, I have to tell like, him the truth. you know? Yeah. Um, and so she shows him the bug. She shows him yeah. like the recorder. And he he, he break, she breaks it down and it cuts to a scene with her back in the class. So week, that's what yeah. happened at the end of the last yeah. episode. And we were kind of at like odds with it ourselves. Like NB, you were saying like, oh, she's going to come through for him. And I was like, no, her face looked like she was going to yeah. kill him. Yeah. And in the ba- in the flashback, it shows her stabbing him. Yeah. She um, got all the information from got, him yeah. first. She was like, okay, there's no cops yeah. listening on this. Da, 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 da. Yeah. It's just like the local police. It's not the feds. Right. He's like, yeah, yeah it's just local. And she's like, okay, bye. <laughs> she kills she him. She kills him. And um, it was it was interesting because it was a moment where I was like, okay, what are you going to do with this situation Exactly. Now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you killed this but guy. But I feel like she's already gone far enough where she's literally killed her wife. So yeah. anyone other than that's like, okay. And at the same time, it's I guess like like, she's still like doing something for the cause, you know? Yeah, like, she still had to do it. She still, she still had to, to do it him. for sure. She had and, to do it. And it helps him like kind of legitimize yeah. everything too. So she comes and, back. And take that in. Like she was holding the information in. Like yeah. she was waiting for a moment like this. And when she was right. like, damn, like he, he's going to cancel this plan. I have to use this card. Right. You know? So he needs to like actually follow through yeah. in order for it so to So she had to like keep it sort of and like wait to the perfect moment to use that information. Yeah. So she does remind him that, you know, basically it wasn't winter this whole yeah. time. It was Speedwagon. Yeah. Um, and he loses it. And he loses it. He starts He's like, I killed again. her for nothing. Yeah. And she's like, what she'd want you to do is like continue on with your mission. Like Winter would want you to do that. Go right. do it. He's like, right. okay, cool. Yeah. Like, yeah, make her death have a meaning yeah. or whatever. So he talks to his people at the very end. And he's like turning them all up. He's like, yes. And he's like, who wants a vitamin A? Yeah. Like that was his yeah. final line, I guess. Because she dips out of the house. And um, she's like, I'll be right back. And we're going to go get some food or something. Yeah. And one of her, his people, like, see her leave. It's crazy because, like, he booked it, too. Like, yeah. any second before or after, like, it would have been probably, like, 
Right. K- Kai would have been like, what the hell? Where is she? Right. You know, the thing that always qu- I was questioning this whole time, I was like, she can't she just say that she's like visiting like her son or something? Yeah, like they're right across the street, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, I don't know why like she was like being looked at so hard. But I think because maybe at that moment, it's like, where are you going though right now? Yeah, like, that's true. That's I don't fair. know. Who knows? Um. Anyway, so in that moment, she walks across the street yeah. and sure enough, she's working with the FBI yeah. and they all go and into And they're all raid. there ready to go. She's like, go now, go now, go now. Yeah. They like storm the house. Yeah. But at that same moment, like that one cop, like that one guy was like, hi, like Ali's like going back to her house. Like, why? Yeah. Like, did you let her go back? And it's like He's slow like, motion. Huh? Like, oh, and it's like, freeze. And then they're like, freeze, you're under arrest. Yeah. It's such a good scene. So they book everybody in the basement. Everybody's stuck and everybody gets shot. Some of them are killing themselves. Yeah. Bev, oh, so Bev finds up. her way like through the smoke and stuff to shoot one of them. I thought she was going to kill herself. I'm I, like, don't, don't go out <laughs> like this. You made it to the on. last episode. Yeah. Just like, wait. She was very pleased with herself. Yeah. Like after she killed the guy and then like they took her away yeah and she's like slow motion like yeah but the, the scene was really cool because like at first the 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 officers throw up like, like a, a smoke tear, bomb tear gas, yeah. tear gas and then like everything's just really foggy yeah. <laughs> so you don't know what's happening yeah. kai looks like he, he kai is shooting back at them right it was it was intense miraculously it was it's intense. always the main leader yeah, never yeah. Fucking dies yeah. obviously and uh she makes a good point later, but she's like, I'm su- I'm not surprised that he didn't kill himself either. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because he's such a narcissist. Yeah. And that he pled guilty to all of everything. Right, because he wants to take credit for everything. Um, so as they're leaving, Ali's just chilling outside with the feds. And uh, Bev is coming through and she's like, thank you. Yeah. She like, she's like, just she's little, like, bless our fam. She's like, I just held on for one more minute. <laughs> yeah, like, she's like, yeah. <laughs> and you told me one more night. Yeah. And uh, and Kai's like, you bitch. Yeah, he's she's like, like going off. You. She's like, ha, ha, ha. She's like, I win. Then it fast forwards yeah. a little bit more and she's running her business. Yeah. Her she's back in the restaurant business. She's killing it. Someone comes up to her and is like, I want to take a picture with you because I heard about what you yeah. went through. So clearly everything went public. Everything was exposed. Like exposed. Yeah. There's been a trial. There's like a New York Times article. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so Bev comes through to the restaurant and yeah. she was like, hey, can I get a seat? And then so she looks normal now. Like she's totally she's, fine. Yeah. <laughs> like she's her back to like, her. calm. Yeah. <laughs> and so she's, she's like, like, Ali, like her normal voice is back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So they sit down and just have a chat. And um, what did you think about this conversation? I thought it was important. I feel like we needed to see it. I feel like it... Go. go. I was I scared. Like <laughs> I was scared. You thought that she was going to be betraying. She'll yeah. be like, he's coming for you. Yeah. Oh, no. I thought she was like recording, trying to record her Ooh. or like trying to like admit to like killing Ivy. Right. And then still so, so, like low-key work, working with Kai. Right. And then especially... So then like whatever. They keep talking. So they keep talking. and Because she wanted to know about that. Like Bev was pushing it. She's like, but what right. happened to it's her? True. What happened? Yeah. I guess Kai we, didn't admit to killing her. <laughs> Why? I'm like, oh my gosh. She's trying to bring her down. It's true. <laughs> but like Ali didn't bite it. She was like, she's not like admitting to it. Right. She doesn't admit to it. And we also find out why we never saw that inside of the asylum shot. Like while she was in the crazy yeah. house. It's because she was working with the feds the yeah. entire time. So, But she's still in the crazy house, no? She's in the crazy house, but as soon they as... They came she, to her. They came to her while she was in there. Because um, I was like, why can't we ever see what was going on in there? It's because she was like working with them. So we see this like, quick shot of her talking to the FBI at that moment. Yeah. And then he's she was like, and then that's when you joined the call as soon as you left. You know, you I have to say, there's a lot of stock put into... Um, the system in this scene mm-hmm. in, its, in terms of like You're right. You're in terms of like right. a big part of what drove this entire story arc is that the FBI caught on to Kai early uh-huh. on they approached her in the right. mental asylum they told her to like go on and be an inside man like right. like there's a lot of stock being put into like the, these cops do you right? think that there's a reason for that do you think that there's like a message that out for all the cult leaders and crazy people who end up watching this to be like people are watching you so don't even fucking try it because fbi is like fbi are yeah news. maybe and i think like a lot of this season like focused on like a lot of different systems in like the states sure and maybe they want to be like but these guys are still good like they're still doing work they're still trying they're still trying yeah, you know what i mean fair. So yeah, I mean, I think it would be. Really, but I noticed that I was like, "Wow, it would it would be hard." I mean, we always wondered like how this was all going to end, how Ali was going to get her revenge, how Kai was going to get end, like killed off or whatever, and um, to see her finally like use a larger force other than herself is. I mean, a like, very, yeah, she had to, right? Yeah. That's what I mean. Like they could have they could have made Ali go to the FBI yeah. and like 
like present proof right, right. but instead they made that they're approaching her they're watching, and so yeah, yeah. And they've been watching and they've been and watching they've yeah been so that was a really big thing too. and it's and it's good and it follows the storyline because really we were asking the same question all those moments when he was in council and he was like beating people up yeah, and, like, and we're like on, how is no one booking him yeah. how is no like it's too it's too weird yeah. that like there's all these deaths around him so yeah it was good that he they kind of they came through obviously at the very end and so yeah it cuts back to bev saying like it was it must have been really hard to see ivy die yeah she doesn't crack um because she does say to her to to her like um kai took credit for every single one's yeah, death yeah everything except yeah. for ivy she, he He's explicitly that, like, said that it. you did it out of revenge um, and she was like, no, don't know what you're talking yeah, about. She's like, no. She has a new girlfriend. Yeah. Good job, Allie. Oh, that she girl like, was so annoying. She on. was like so like heavy. I'm like, okay, chill. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they're they're like, come to Oz's birthday. Um, and she's like, yeah, sure. No worries. I'll come through. And I was just worried this whole time. I'm like, no, Beb. I'm like, I'm, I think she's so crazy. <laughs> she's going to glitch out. Yeah, because I think that like one of your questions was like, what is going to be her role in What's this whole What's her ending? Line, yeah. Right? Like, how like, does she redeem herself? Does yeah. she redeem herself? Does she redeem herself or does she like fall back into it? You know? And I think she even says something funny like when they're in the kitchen, the scene before, and she was like, I made it this far. Yeah. Like, kill me now. Like, yeah. she makes a joke. She was like, I made it this far and I'm going to die now or something. Yeah. Like, yeah. I was like, yeah, girl, you made it this far. Like, like just live. Keep going. Yeah. yeah. Like, you've done so many things and i love already. what ali said in that moment she goes everyone expects me to be this crying little woman in yeah. my house and she goes i'm not gonna do that yeah. i'm gonna live my freaking life yeah. and i don't want to be a victim it's amazing and when i'm when she's saying that i'm thinking i'm like bro like ivy tried to like ruin this girl's life like she really did <laughs> she like yeah did. she's her wife yeah. like yeah fine whatever but like ivy did some messed up things too yeah, like she fucked it all so up. like it was her fault yeah so yeah. like girl like Absolutely. you're okay you be dead <laughs> yeah <laughs> be dead <laughs> um and so first they get a call and we get a little call back to uh, another season yeah um she rejected a call from herself basically <laughs> yeah Lana Winters. so they get she gets the first call and it's like rachel maddow or whatever and her girlfriend's like it's rachel maddow like she wants an interview and she's yeah. like no i'm not gonna do an interview whatever and then i think bev was like if she turned down lana winters she's not gonna do rachel maddow yeah. and i'm like wait that's her that's her <laughs> lana winters is her and i was like how cool would it be and like, yeah obviously yeah they're never gonna do that but it was really, it was cool. really funny to yeah, like, yeah. see her like that parallel um and so she gets another phone call yeah while while the party's going on and it's a collect call from <laughs> like it was Kai very Anderson. serial yeah and then um, yeah <laughs> he's like you're a dead woman i'm gonna kill you yeah. Um, just you wait or whatever and then she was like she didn't seem bothered no not at all that she was not so she was like all right bye she like clicks the phone and uh he's like i'm ready to go back to my sale to like the that guard woman lady. yeah i need to give her a name she needs a name i, I have no know. idea what her name is anyway guard lady guard lady um and then she's like all right come with me divine ruler yeah so you're like okay she's working with him yeah and then it shows him like effing her in his cell with a tv <laughs> like the his... most like obnoxious <laughs> scene yeah. ever you know so yeah he's like doing that yeah. it's like just, it is an obnoxious shot yeah. it really is it's just like too much it's too extra there's like too many legs <laughs> oh but i think i think the point of that scene was like because in on the phone call like ali was like you're never gonna have another son like you're you're like your, right. your bloodline's gonna end when yeah. you die like, yeah. you don't even have a kid anymore yeah. so when he was doing that he's like oh I'm gonna like put my I'm seed gonna, in you I'm like, that yeah. cause like it got him so mad and also I felt uneasy too because I was like oh he's winning now yeah. like he's like winning yeah. like in his own way he, he is like spreading his yeah. seed somehow and I'm like this girl so waste I was so yeah. pissed I was like so cheesed um, and then it cuts to Ali's commercial and it shows that she's like, she's, like running running, running for, for senate, for senate. Um, and she's like in basically she's in Olivia Pope's office yeah. wearing Olivia Pope's clothes. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, I am a woman who wants to break down the cults, the yeah. two political parties. She calls the Democrat yeah. Democratic Party and the Republican Party cults. Um and uh like that, everything she said was on point. Yeah, it was so on point. Yeah. And then it shows like it cuts to um bev who's basically like her campaign manager yeah like all of a sudden like she's like in her life yeah. now <laughs> and uh she's like that and was i think it was right there where i was like okay i think bev's like cool <laughs> i think it was like right there i was like okay i think she's gonna stick around for a you're bit like, yeah you're winning now you're, <laughs> you're okay. trust you now I'll come back um so she does tell her that she's unfortunately like not doing well in the polls and so she asks her why she's not doing well in the polls and it was it was very 
um, like it was very like enlightening to hear what she had to say. She said, number one, people are still seeing you as a victim. No matter what happens, you're always going to be seen as an association with Kai for as long as he mm-hmm. lives. Yeah. So even her saying like, as yeah. long as he's alive, you're always going to yeah. be associated with him. And uh, like, yeah, it's just this whole idea. And like, it was almost like sitting in, you know, a campaign room with Hillary Clinton. It's like yeah. all the struggles that she's had to deal with. You're unfavorable. Nobody trusts you. Nobody thinks that you can actually lead. You don't have the experience. Like all these things um, that we know were, were said to even Hillary Clinton at that this moment um, were set, are said to yeah. Ali. And I'm just like, Ugh. it's very frustrating to see it. And then it cuts to Kai in jail. And it cuts to that guy uh, from the very beginning. That looked like him. Who looked and like that him. little young kid. And he, yeah, he's shaved his head. And he got tattoos. He got tattoos. Like the same tattoos. And same as soon as he said guy. that, I'm like, oh, he's going to. He's going to die. Yeah. <laughs> and, or like he's going to make it look like it's him. Right. So like, I don't know. They're in like the kitchen or something. And it's like him, the guard, and this guy. And so he's like, I don't want, like, I can't, like, you can't leave me here. Because he knows at this point that Kai is going to ex- escape. And he's like, you can't leave me here. I'm going to die without you. And he's like. Don't worry, we're both going to be free, uh, whatever. And then he kills him. He yeah. like, stabs him to death. And then he decides to like, or he's like, I need to like cut his face off. Yeah, I couldn't watch that scene. Um, I fast forwarded it. And he makes fun of the woman all yeah. the while. He's like, he's like, what's wrong with you? Like, it was your he's idea like, to so cut many, his face off. He had too many cold cuts. Like, you should know your way around deli meats. And she's yeah. like, I'm watching my figure. It's so, it's anyway, so whatever. Rude. So then he like kind of like continues on. And he cuts the face off. And then there is a... Um, like notification <laughs> that Bev gets, and she tells Ali right before the debate that yeah. she's this big debate yeah. that she's gonna have with the current senator, and um, she, he's like, she's like, he's she's dead, like, he's dead, K- Kai, Kai is dead. dead. You sure you want to do this now? Yeah. And she goes, yeah, I still want to do this now. She's like, we've worked so hard to yeah. do this to get through this. Let's just do it. In that moment, now that we know what's happened in this episode, did you expect all of this to play out the way it played out, like from now until the end? Let's get to it at the end. Okay. Let's get to it at the end. Um, so then the debate starts with the guy, and oddly enough, this guy looks almost exactly like fucking Trump. Yeah, and but he's not as, like, mean. He's not as mean. Yeah. But she's also approaching him in a different way. I feel like... She looked boss ass, like with by the way. Pantsuit. Pantsuit red, like flaming <laughs> red. Fire. She was, like, taller than that guy. Yeah, yeah, it was really good. She was, like, leaning on the table, like, as if she gives no fucks. Right, <laughs> like, right. And she made some really good points, yeah. too. She was, like... You know, she wasn't attacking him fully. She was like, he's a respectable man. There's all these like good things that are happening, but the world is changing. Yeah. And like you, yeah. you're done fucking up. So yeah. it's your fault. Um, and at one point in time, he even steps up and he's like, listen, listen, Linda. And, and she's like, no, 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 She's no, like, no. don't interrupt me. Don't mansplain to me. And I loved it. I was, I was living for it. And then out of nowhere... Um, like she's kind of watching things like she's watching the audience. She's looking at the door. So you see the security guard and then out of nowhere, there's like, there's like, I have a question from, from yeah. the audience. Well, first you see him walk in, I think, or like the gun exchange. Cause he gives the gun or the girl gives a gun to him or something. Right. I think that happens after, oh. after he like, cause I didn't notice him until right when he says like, I have a question. He has like the, the yeah. ball, ball cap out on and then she was like, he's like, can you speak up, sir? And then he's like, I'm Kai Anderson. He takes his hat like, off. Who let him in? Like, <laughs> and uh, and then it's like uh, like a showdown essentially. So everybody like ducks, and like you can see in the far back that there's like white supremacists. Really? Yeah, they were like chilling in the back, I like didn't kind notice. of guarding the area. So I was like, oh shit, things are gonna go down now. Yeah. And so he walks to the front, and in the front is his girl, the the guard, guard lady, and she he grabs the gun from her. Yeah. And then he walks up on stage, like knocks this guy unconscious, and then goes right in front of Ali. It was cute because like even her opponent like tried to protect her, like he stepped in front of her. Right. And uh, and Kai just like hits him out of the way. Him. And then he just like goes off yeah. on Ali. And all of this is being televised, I'm assuming. Yeah. Right. So. Um, so all this is happening and he's just like yelling, he's calling her like whatever. And then he says something really interesting. He says, you symbolize the hope that women will be empowered, that the fight is winnable. But if I kill you, then that idea of people winning is going to be gone. And then she was like, go fuck yourself, (laughs) which was amazing. Yeah. She did not look scared. She did not get scared. And then, um, he like pop, but no pop. 
there's there no was bullets. No, there's no bullets in that gun. And he like keeps clicking and there's nothing there. And he looks back at that woman, like the guard lady. Yeah. And she's like, <laughs> and she, so it was like, it was like a, this whole thing. And it yeah. shows a really quick flashback of her meeting her at the restaurant being like, I know he's a piece of shit and all these, all these other things, but can you please like just do this for us? And like, so, it so was, was this all like planned out? So all of it was planned out. Every single thing was like, like you know yeah planned out and i think that was the most amazing thing about this whole situation is it shows how um narrow-minded and weak the met the ego of him Mm -hmm. is you know he was so gullible into thinking that all these things are he's touched he's 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 completely you know no one can touch him he like went to the woman he completely believed that she was under his spell he she he grabbed her gun you know he didn't even have a backup like he's yeah he's so like about himself yeah. and he's so aware of what he's doing that he's just like i'm mm-hmm. good and it got him killed at the end of it all and one of my favorite lines from her uh like from ali was like there's nothing more dangerous than a nasty woman yes yes she says um you're wrong there's something more dangerous than a humiliated man yeah. it's a nasty woman which was amazing and then it's like pop, pop, pop yeah pop. so we'll bev kills him yeah bev is the one that shoots him yeah. in the face um and then it cuts to the final like one of the final scenes mm-hmm. and she's with Oz in bed and she wins that she wins that election like she wins that yeah that little piece so it shows that she's like that came through for her and clearly like she like it's almost like she orchestrated that on purpose she wanted sure. all of that to happen in public so people can be they like can okay I'm she's not a hero. victim no she's more she's not a victim anymore bye yeah. bitch and so um She's like, I'm going to hang out with some of my friends today. <laughs> and he's like, who? Like, like what kind of people? Like, hi? And he's, she's like, no, no, no. She's it's like, women. Women. Empowered, strong, powerful women. And I was like, sick. And then it cuts to her, like, in her vanity. And she's, like, doing her makeup. It's like a slow zoom out. And this is our final shot that we get. And then she puts on the green hood. What's the green hood? And then she walks away. The green hood. What is it? It is from episode, what, three, two? Yeah. It's of, like, the feminists. It's, like, Val's Val's crew. <gasps> no way. Mm, I didn't know it. that. No. Yeah. I was like, okay, I have to ask him what this is. I yeah. couldn't figure it out. I'm like, is she going to put the clown mask on? What is she going <laughs> to do right now? So, okay. So, that's the connection yeah, there. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. That's so what I wanted like to ask you. the empowered women. Sick. Okay. Circle. Good. So now she's like a part of that crew. Yeah. Which is amazing. Yeah, yeah. That's because, such a sick way to end off. Because you know what's funny? You you even said it last episode, like she missed that whole she moment. She missed that part. You know, yeah. That whole thing with BB and that, all that yeah. kind of stuff. So it was cool that like at the it very comes end, back. they all came back yeah, for her that's anyway. Sick. You know? I don't know who she's leading. Like all the women yeah, are dead at this point. But she Whatever. has a new crew of people. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's the end of the season. So good. Guys. It was honestly like one of my favorite. We we judge these seasons so harshly. We do. We, yeah. And <laughs> Roanoke true. was the honestly, Roanoke was like the worst season Especially ever. Especially in comparison to this so one. So just coming out of that season and then like they bring this one, I'm like, guys, you guys killed it. Like yeah. this call Amazing season was job. so well done. Really, really we well needed the season now yeah. and everything just the, how the story just kind of was told and everything yeah. fell apart was just like amazing. I think it was phenomenal that they pulled this all together and shot it and edited it and, and put it out bef- like within a year of the election. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's like it's almost as if like the day after the you election. You know what? Sometimes these things are the easiest to write because they're the most real. Yeah. It's true. You know? You're right. They're taking all their inspiration from things that are literally yeah. like things that have happened. Yeah. Like obviously there's exaggeration but like you know, like you yeah. can because everyone is in such a weird funk mm-hmm. that that's like you're the best place to write from. You it's know? true. So let's talk about the whole setup. Right. Before we end off with the episode. But yeah. what did you think about there's something really ironic about like all of all of what Ali has been saying. And in the end, she still uses like the media mm-hmm. and this really public event yeah. to kind of to get narrate her, her story. You right. know? To finish what her story. What did you think about that whole setup? I think the setup was great. I think it was very, I thought it was brilliant. It was so brilliant to the point that I didn't even think of it. Yeah. Um, I didn't think that anything was, you know, you're right. One of the biggest red flags is the fact that the guard woman was a black woman that they fully, like, you know, they I honestly chose almost her. wish they didn't choose her. I wish it, it was like been. a white man yeah. who was like, you're crazy to Kai and like followed out. Like, because I just feel like her, I'm like, she's such the obvious like yeah. Ali follower yeah. almost. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, 
I don't know. I feel like by the end of the season, it's almost as if the creators or the writers are like, they've fully given up on all men. They're just like, yeah. you know what? All men yeah. suck. It doesn't even matter yeah. if you're gay, straight, white, black, doesn't yeah. matter. You all suck. And this is a woman's story. So you yeah. can all like sit down for this. Um, you're right. I think it was That's the a biggest, big question. That's like the one thing I would ask them. I think this was the biggest giveaway. Yeah. You're right. Um, and if they had done it that way, how that would have worked out. It would have been really, really cool if it was like a fast, a pure fast forward. And like Oz was working in the in like the yeah. the security place or something. Yeah. I don't know. Like there was a way for them like them to connect the next generation story, to it all. Yeah. Um, but I think when I think when for me when I found out was when Bev looks at her and she's like, "Are you gonna Are you ready for this?" Mm -hmm. It was almost like that was the moment where I was like, "Wait, what? What? Is, what is she talking about? Like right. Kai's dead. Like why are they sketching out?" They know he escaped. Yes. Because Kai dying is the trigger of, of of like them knowing that like he's now on his way here. Right. And I, yeah, and that's so the thing. Like, oh, okay. In that moment, in that moment, I was like, okay, she's just gonna proceed. But like, I was like, but she has not nothing set up. Like from what we know, from there what was, we know, there was nothing yeah. that we had known that she was she had set up. So I was like, she's just gonna take a chance. I'm yeah. like, okay. Like, yeah. And that's what I mean. Like you feel safe because there's a guard at the door. You're like, okay, like he'll be they'll be fine. Yeah. And then as soon as he comes in, I was like, oh god, fuck. Yeah what's gonna happen now like right up until the very end where like he pulls a trigger i was like something's gonna ha gotta happen like maybe bev is gonna and come out of nowhere and like kill, kill him which i mean she does but like not in that moment so and i was just like, looking at the whole Ugh. season and the whole episode i'm like they can't end off with ali dying like what kind of message does this send to like this entire season right. he's gonna have to be the one that dies we already know that right is she gonna die first and then he's gonna die we don't yeah. know like so there's all those questions but i'm like he's gonna have to be set up again and and yeah. brought down yeah and you know we can't even say that it was conveniently timed because it was all planned out like even yeah like, the yeah guard, like, for sure him go at yeah, that yeah. certain time like she knew that he was gonna beeline it right to her um and publicly right yeah um yeah, I thought it was really, really, really smart the way it was all pulled together to the point where I, I was personally shocked. Yeah. I didn't even know what was happening. Yeah. So I was like, oh, shit, that's amazing. Yeah. That was an amazing twist. That was an amazing way to end that whole storyline yeah. for sure, in my opinion. Yeah, it was cool. All right, guys, let's get to recap roundups. Best, best moment. moment. So what was your best moment? My best moment was Kai getting arrested. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You like the tear gas. The yeah, scene, that the whole shot. just that sequence of just them coming into the basement uh -huh. and ending all of this bullshit. Right. You know what right. I mean? Like it's done now. Yeah, obviously him dying was like big too, but like yeah. that I think just started that whole, you know. Yeah. I think journey. the satisfaction that I got from I, I'm caught between two. So for me the best the best moment are, are like a little bit of both. It's the satisfaction that I felt from seeing him get shot in the like yeah, back of the head. Yeah. Or that final shot of Ali in front of the mirror, which was like, yes. Yeah. Like, it really was to me. I was like, this is such a yes moment yeah. for me. So I was like, I don't know what was what was more satisfying. Yeah. I feel like maybe it was Ali because I feel like seeing That's how her you end that off, right? Kind of finishing That's it off. That's the continuation. Like, this is it. Yeah. Like, I'm like, I'm so, yeah. I'm feeling so good about this right yeah. now. So that was my best moment. I'll yeah. say that, yeah, that very final shot was my best moment. WTF moment. moment. My WTF, I don't really have a single moment, but I was just like shocked at how all of this Played was orchestrated. Yeah. <laughs> like they had all of this yeah. planned out. Yeah. I was like, good job, girls. So like good even job. like the gun like not going off. You're like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> for sure. True. For me, my WTF moment was the guard getting effed by Kai. Because <laughs> I was like, really, guys? I'm like, first of all, I'm like, I really was in that moment. I was like, what the fuck, girl? Yeah, you I was were like, like, girl, she's at why her. Are you, yeah, like, yeah. what are you doing right now? Like, stop following him. Yeah. Something you fucked my hand. Like, <laughs> the hell? And even still thinking back on, I'm like, you sacrificed yourself yeah. for this moment. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like even though it was a setup, I'm like, you still like did him though. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. MVP. MVP. My MVP was Bev and Ali. Uh -huh. The both of them together. One, one, and one. Yeah. yeah. They came through like yeah. so hard. They were both mine too. I yeah. was like, Ali or Bev. Like, yeah, either both. Either one. Both. Were, were fantastic. Yeah. For sure. Like, they both played it out really well. I feel like, of course, I feel like the whole, tr like, you know, the, the epitome of all this is Ali. Ali, it's, it is it's Ali's story plan, by the end of it all. But I think in that moment in the kitchen, especially too, like, Bev was like, I'm done. Like, I just want to be done. I want to die. She's like, don't, <laughs> yeah. don't give up on life. Like, she had don't. the best, like, full circle yeah. in this whole episode. Yeah. Like, for her to, like, go from, like, so low and so down all the way up to, like, 
campaign manager all the way to like getting yeah. her revenge like she was yeah. able to be like ha you're the one and that like ali let her have that revenge exactly too. which was amazing so it's like yeah for sure yeah. a twinning mvp yeah lvp lvp of the episode kai oh, yeah. last one of the True. season Fair kai enough. is the he's the loza loza you did you did bro um i I said Kai, but I also said Speedwagon because he didn't do anything. Yeah, he literally didn't do anything. He, he died in like so five useless. seconds. <laughs> he was like, I was trying to, but I didn't really get anywhere. And like, I love how she was like, oh, are you like FBI? Are you, are you like undercover? Yeah. He's like, no, I'm just like a drug dealer. And like, he caught me in, yeah. the cops caught me. I'm like, oh, he doesn't have like a second so like nice. story. Yeah. So I strapped. The, the best, best line. line. My best line is what we, the one we talked about, how she's like, there's nothing more dangerous than a nasty woman. Mm-hmm. You are strong. You are wrong. There is... There's something more dangerous than a humiliated man, a, a nasty woman. Yeah. Um, mine is, uh, she says it while she's talking to Bev, and she says, isn't it sad when a strong woman scares people more than clowns do? Yeah. And I was like, Ugh, yeah. so true. Yeah, there were so many good lines. Like, oh my so God. many good lines. Even the final one where she says that she wants like a better world for Oz, and she says like a world where you can be a better man yes. than the men that came yes. before you. Yes, and uh, I wanted her to say that. Yeah. This is not about shunning men yeah. or cutting off men and saying women are better. This is about like, you know, Making creating better a better people. world Making better and like people. raising good humans. That's yeah. that's what it's about. Woman, you know man, I mean? like making yeah. better people yeah. in this world. So I'm glad that they had that, that yeah, dialogue too. For sure. Um, that's the episode, guys. Yeah. Um, that was really good, American guys. Horse it was Story a really done. good season. I'm, yeah. I'm really impressed. So, so happy with it. Um, sad that it's done, but don't. But thank you to everyone that works on this damn show. Honestly. For honestly telling uh, voicing, the story. telling, the, like, yeah, expressing this voice because yeah. I feel like we needed it. In this story our world. was so important yeah. to tell. And they did a phenomenal job like yeah. from beginning to end. It was like one of the most gripping seasons of American Horror Story for sure. Yeah. Um, we still don't know what's going to happen for next season. Yeah. But we'll see. Mm-hmm. Guys, I'd, I'm not sure how you guys found us. But did you know that Recap Rewind is now on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, SoundCloud, oh, yeah. Spreaker, oh, I, yeah. iHeartRadio, wow. iTunes, and Facebook. So make sure you stay connected and join the conversation. Like, subscribe, follow, review, and comment to stay engaged with Recap Rewind. And thanks for listening, guys. Thanks for listening, as always, guys. Bye. Bye.